Okay guys, we're assembling nukes from our hives that we've moved brood up. We've shook the bees down yesterday evening and moved the brood frames up, moved the frames that we wanted to harvest. So now we're coming in to harvest. So you're going to have some extra bees, you know. That the queen's not on there. Go ahead and get those. I try to have two frames of foundation already in my nuke box. And I typically put foundation and food frames <clears throat> on the outside. So, looks like this one's going to give us two nukes. This is a food frame. You see all that glistening nectar, newer comb, they're working on this frame, and good bee coverage. So that's going to go to the outside. And this next frame is also a feed frame. So it's going to go and another nuke box. And placed against the outside foundation frame. So you don't want to use a lot of smoke. But you want to keep things workable. So I just put a little in the air. As needed. And I try not to smoke my box. Because that's going to push bees off of these combs. And I want the bees on these combs. So, it's a good frame of sealed brood, emerging brood. Uh, you can see the bees emerging. You can see where they have been emerging. There's one chewing her way out into the world. And these are the good right age bees that we want for these nucleus colonies. Now, I don't buy mated queens to make up my nucleus colony, so they're not ready as quickly. So I don't put too much resources into them. This is a really good bee frame. Now you guys have seen what has gone into this, which will be functioning as a mating nuke. So this has enough bees to get a queen mated and get going, get started good. Um, primarily very young bees because I shook them down. Y'all have to excuse my camera work there. Try to do things on the fly and be as educational as possible. So it's another good frame. These were all frames that myself and Mr. Hodel and uh, Greg Tingle, who was helping him yesterday, helping me. So we got three frames of bees, but two frames of brood. There's a little open brood in this one, but that's fine. It's older curls what I call curls so we got two and looks like we're gonna get a partial so I'll walk over here and grab some more nuke boxes that I have set out and we just keep adding resources to these boxes until we get the composition that we want inside of it like I said I already put two frames of foundation in these which this is uh, got a little bit of food in it um, well a lot of food on one side but not much on the other and then this is a foundation frame that they've been working on with lots of bees so it will now replace 
the outside foundation frame there. Now this hive has been pushed down to a single and I will come back very soon and give them a honey super over top of the excluder. Now overall the bees have not been bad. Got a couple that want to buzz me. Y'all know how it is. A couple that just taking their job real serious. And that's okay. I appreciate her efforts. <clears throat> now it's best to do this in the morning time when it's still just a little bit cool and the bees haven't all gotten out. You'll get um, more bees on your combs. Now you see that little bit of burr comb. They made that since yesterday. If I'm going to be very quick about it, I don't fill the box back up. And I do that because I feel like I get better bee coverage when I don't feel like I get more bees on the combs that way but if you're not quick about coming back and getting these then one your brood's going to hatch out and two they're going to fill it full of comb because they don't like that empty space So, now these could be left in this yard, but they're not going to be. I'm going to move these to another yard because of the drone sources. But since these are nurse bees, I would be okay to leave these here. I know I keep walking out of the camera view, but I film off my iPhone on a tripod, so. If you'd like to follow me around uh, the truck a little better than, or the bee yard, then I might consider getting a GoPro or something. I take my feeders out and I set them on top as a indicator for me of what I had already done and I like to keep things nice and neat so I may not be able to get all my equipment up today because I have to get these nukes I have to get these nukes uh, put on the truck but as you see I'm stacking up my equipment keeping it nice and tidy because I don't like a messy bee yard okay y'all can see these and we just stack as we go now one tip for you new beekeepers watching your hive tool 
your hive tool is going to be one of two places at all times. It's either going to be in your hand or it's going to be in your pocket. We don't lay it down. Now, I don't always follow the rules. That's one of those do as I say, not as I do things. But whenever I do set that hive tool down, that's when I lose it. So, in the hand or pocket. Like I said, these will get a queen cell tomorrow. And I, uh, I feel like these need a little more bees. So I'm going to set that down there. That one's already full from yesterday. Take this brood frame. Now the excluders are going to stay in the yard because I'll be needing those when I put my honey supers on very shortly. trying to bore you guys to death but sometimes seeing things more than once helps so here we got some good bees on the lid just bounce them right off there you can see they built them some dingleberries there Brood. Newly drawn frame. And I need like a food frame there <sighs> so sometimes it might take more than one box to get what we what we need this is some uh, a little bit younger brood than I want to put up right there but it's what's up there so that's what's going in the reason I don't want that younger brood is because when you put really young brood in there it can affect your cell acceptance uh, the more options that they have to make their own queen the least likely they are to accept your cell or your your queen your replacement however it is that you're going to uh, get that nuke box queen right that's a good food frame and uh anyway yeah young brood can negatively impact your nuke success uh, oh here we go i set that out forgot about it so this one when i come across it it may take another shake of bees I'll clean this yard up, but uh, you notice I have some misses here where colonies died. I'll be leaving deep boxes there, taking the rest of them. 
and then I'll fill those back in with successfully mated nukes. So that was just a run through demo on uh, the last, well not the last step, but pulling your brood and your food, all your resources into your nuke boxes. I covered it a little bit in one video, but just wanted to go back over that and show you guys a little bit better, a little bit uh, less rushed. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions for me, leave them below and I'll catch you around.